so we are back in the world of Project Survive where today we actually need to try and well, we need to try and transport some villagers back to back through to our um our house and to do that I'm going to, one, need a boat. I need a boat. Two, I'm going to need some rails. Are you wondering, why do I need a boat if I'm going to get rails? I will explain. But first, I need to try and get a villager over here. So I need to get him onto here. So I need to get him onto that. Question is, that could actually be easier than I thought. Hmm. I need to knit to my house, so I'll be right back. So, there's actually been a change of plan this part. Actually, wait, nope. There actually hasn't. Because... Get that free iron. Just realised I had some iron in a furnace. Why now search... Rails. Rail. Need six, six makes sixteen. There we go. Go sixteen. Ah, uh, then you need some more. One more for a furnace, not furnace, a um thingy majig. But I'm going to quickly nip to the quarry. I'll be right back. So, we are finally on our way. First villager in the boat. This could take a while. And begin time lapse. There we go. So we are 
here with our first villager and I will get another villager between this part and the next part so for now I'm gonna have to build this up so that he's got some protection Yes, little buddy, this is your cube. Because this, between, on oh no, the next part, I will be building the farm that I'm going to have this guy work in. But I do think for now, I'm actually going to end. Actually, actually, no, I can build. Build it now. So I'm going to need more dirt. That's my long. There we go. Put down these trees. They're now equal to being in the way. I just want to come up to about, yeah, about here. Okay, one, two, three. Be one second. Okay, so we need to go there. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. We to do that another couple of times. I need to get rid of these trees.
I'm getting this design from a YouTuber called Impulsive. Or Impulse SV, shall I say. What his name's put down as. Apparently, it spawns. 12 villagers. An, a minute or something. Something like that. We are going to attempt to work through the night as well. This one that goes diagonal again. Not enough dirt. Why did I not pick up enough dirt? But while we're in there, we can go sleep as well. Need more stone. Oh wait, no, you should have enough stone. Logs transfer across. Okay, thirty-two of those. I will be extending this bit out. So at some point, the villagers will be dropping down into my um, into safe into a safe place, should we say? I think if dimensions are right, I'll drop into my storage room. You can kind of see the idea I'm going for. It's give you like a diamond shape, and on one side you're gonna have villi two villagers. You have a villager running around inside the farm to farm carrots and potatoes and stuff like that, so that he can then pass those carrots he harvests onto two villagers, which will then breed, creating more villagers. We have a nice villager farm, and then somewhere over there. I'm going to end up building a iron farm and then leftover villages we can have I'm going to build like a sort of like a wall around the area to keep everyone safe but I've got a lot of plans to go with But I do think, while I get all of this like properly complete, I will have to actually put a roof on top as well, because the thunder, in case there's thunder and lightning, you don't want your villager turning into a witch. I think that still happens in 1.1, 1.15.2. You can also see on the mini map, all coming together quite well. Sooner or later, you're able to get that villager into here and then put a roof over the top so that he can be protected from mobs 
We'll have to light it up in the corners. Hopefully with glowstone. I will need to go find some glow glowstone between this, but yeah, we're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of dirt. So you can kind of see what I'm going for. You can see the full thing. Hopefully next part. So we'll be spending quite a bit of time on this t overnight. Next part will be up tomorrow if I don't get obsidian camo for the Renettis on COD. But for now, we're going to end it here. If you have enjoyed, you can drop a like down below. You can hit that subscribe button. And you can also hit the bell notification so you know when I upload. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. So, if you have enjoyed this video, and you want to see more videos like this, there should be two videos just over here. One being most recent upload, the other being um, one that YouTube think is something you guys will enjoy. You can also click the little icon of my logo down right below me to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.